Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's me, Rosalie. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel. We are taking our ride today back to Spain. Been there before, checked out a few artists, and I want to dive into another song by the beautiful Diana Navarro. I checked out her song, El Perdón, uh, several months ago, actually, and I was blown away. I, I learned since then. Check out that video if you want to see. It's amazing. The song, her vocal performance, her facial expressions. I learned since then, thanks to you guys, that I think that was recorded in one take, and that's impressive. I mean, you'll have to see it to understand if you haven't seen it yet so hop on over if you like and uh, check it out but I want to check out her song Sola today now there are a couple of videos out there one has a 1.5 million and there's one that's over 6 million views and that is her live performance at Salamanca set, uh, Salamanca 05 and I want to check that out today now we'll talk about the lyrics afterward the song is in Spanish I don't think uh, captions are available so we're going to enjoy this in Spanish in Espanol and um then we're going to talk about the lyrics in English. Sola means alone. So maybe that'll already give you an idea if you're not a Spanish speaker. But I'm really excited to check this out. Um, what do we know about Diana? Diana, as I mentioned, is from Spain, has a beautiful voice, beautiful young lady. And um, what I've seen so far, even though it's just been one song, there's a lot of emotions to the way that she sings and performs. So I'm very excited to see um, what happens here. As always, like, share, subscribe. Make sure to click the bell and uh, you can be up to date on anything that I release. Awesome, huh? So what I'm noticing here, um, so far, song number two for her. So I don't know her that much yet. A lot of emotion to her, vo to her voice, to her songs, to the songs she sings, as in the lyrics, the theme, right? Um, what's really crazy, what's cool, what I'm liking um, is she does a lot of what reminds me of what Arabic singers often do, um, that those, those quarter notes um, and the vibrato, she has a very strong vibrato. And she has, she does this, these, um, some of these minor notes that she does and the, the quarter notes that she does, it really gives it this, this Arabic touch, really impressive. Um, yeah, let's see what else happens. <laughs>
Wow. Yeah, the keyboard. I like how he's just chilling. Guitar, bringing in some of the strings. Wow. Yes. Beautiful. So if this is not usually what, you know, maybe you don't know about Diana Navarro or maybe you do and know and love her and that's what brought you here. Or maybe you are just on these rides with me uh, exploring music. And I don't know, everyone has a different taste, right? This may not, may or may not be uh, for you or you may, you know, this may be an acquired taste for some. To me, I love this. And it took me a moment to get into it, right? Um, because I didn't know what to expect. Um, I think my mind was a little bit set on what I saw with El Perdón, where there was a big focus on her on her facial expressions and the breath control she had in that song. I mean, she has a fantastic ability just to hold these notes. And she did this again here too. She has a really, really great breath control, able to hold these notes for so long um, without losing the strength to the note. Um, but th there was a lot of vibrato and there was a lot of those Arabic quarter notes. And that was beautiful um, in composition with the Spanish guitar and that Spanish dreamy vibe, the instrumentation from the soft use of the drums to the guitar, a little bit of bass, to the um, stringed instrument and the keyboard giving us a little bit of that harmonic vibe. I don't know if there was a real harmonic there or if it was with the keyboard, but just really that Spanish flair, romantic, dramatic, emotional. And um, even the way she was dancing and enjoying the music, very beautiful. But her voice, to me, again, to some it may be an acquired taste, but to me I really like it because she can hold these notes with such strength for so long she can um she she goes back and forth between the notes even into minor notes perfectly like it doesn't sound off and again beyond just vibrato to me i felt like there was these these notes that she would go be, be between that go so fast it almost sounds like a vibrato but it's intentional because in other places she was able just to you know sing straight without much of the vibrato without much of those extra notes and so fast so rapidly back and forth and up and down and just beautiful and then holding those notes i mean just beautiful the song sola alone speaks of of love of going towards pain of being alone with sorrow sad and lonely alone with my sorrow alone in my bitterness sorrow and mel melancholy they live in my room is my alone and my only friend so the theme being alone, right? Very, very sad song, very sad idea of being lonely, of being in that suffering. 
And I think, um, yes, psychologically speaking, that's easy to talk about because I think we all can relate to feeling alone. Even if we're not alone physically, we're surrounded by people. I think many of us have experienced feeling lonely. I think the the emotion that goes into this, the sadness is, is relatable, but beautifully sung. I mean, her voice is just phenomenal. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. As always, like, share, subscribe. Check out the links below for ways to support and say thanks. Join the team. I'm happy you were on this ride to Spain with me today. I will see you on the next ride. Heyo! Thank you.